The EOS M series was Canon's dedicated APS-C camera lineup, and it had some fan favorites like the EOS M50 and the EOS M6 Mark II. While there were reports that Canon would discontinue this lineup, the ending of the M6 Mark II further confirms it. So, what's happening and why? Watch today's video to find out. First, let's talk about what's going on. According to a report from Canon Rumors, 2021 was supposed to be the last year for the EOS M series cameras and lenses. However, recently, the M6 Mark II has been reported to be discontinued. While you won't see Canon officially say anything about it, then again, Canon isn't the only one to formally announce a camera discontinued. The question is, what do these reports say about the M6 Mark II? It reports the sad news that the camera has been discontinued in at least two countries. While you can obviously find the remaining inventory in different stores, there's no sign of reproducing this camera. It's not only the camera, but Canon has been killing EFM lenses too. In fact, you can only find 9 EF Prime lenses on the market going forward, given that Canon will still keep them alive. Japanese photographer Kimio Tanaka shared two screenshots of the Canon EFM lens library, one from January 8 and the other from February 10. The stark difference between the availability of lenses is depressing. On January 8, there were 21 lenses, and later on February 10, there were only 9. However, this might just be a regional issue, as stock varies from country to country. If you head over to Canon's US site, you will see a listing for 26 lenses. So, was everything just a hoax? Not really. If you go to buy from dealers like Adorama, you won't be able to find those 9 lenses too. It seems like Canon has informed dealers that these lenses will be discontinued soon. If you count all lenses available in the US for purchase, the result will be 11 lenses. If there are 9 in Japan, why are there 11 in the US? The discrepancy in numbers has an obvious explanation. Japan is the home base for Canon, so any stock changes happen there first and slowly ripple throughout the world. This aggressive practice of shaving on lenses indicates that there won't be any new cameras in the EOS M lineup. On top of that, the new EOS R10 just might be the choice for those who want a good camera without paying a king's ransom. Why is this aggressive discontinuation of lens and camera happening? The answer is simple, yet sad. Initially, the EOS M was Canon's lineup of APS-C cameras, while EOS R was for full-frame cameras, both mirrorless in nature. Having two lineups of mirrorless cameras wasn't the problem. The problem was that EFM lenses weren't compatible with RF mount and vice versa. So that left Canon with only one option to produce two different sets of lenses for two different systems. Surely for a company like Canon, that isn't a problem. Then what was the issue? The shaving off has a lot to do with popularity and performance. While EOS M cameras were famous for being an affordable option, they are nowhere near as popular as the new EOS R cameras. EOS R cameras feature all the features professionals want and Canon dominates the market with these cameras, both globally and in its home country. Hence, they're pulling all the resources from EOS M and utilizing them for EOS R cameras and RF lenses. Also, if you consider the number of lenses available for Canon DSLRs, the M camera lineup didn't have many glasses to begin with, so naturally, people weren't as interested in those systems. While EOS M cameras and the remaining lenses will still be around, hopefully it seems there won't be any new addition to this lineup. So now, if you're someone with an M50 or M6 Mark II, what you can do is invest in an M to EF lens adapted and get access to a plethora of pro glasses. Or, you can always wait for the new crop sensor EOS R cameras coming shortly. The unification of these camera lines was a long time coming, and Canon decided to do it sooner than later and thus marking the end of the EOS M lineup. That was all about the end of the EOS M lineup. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below and if you like this video, consider subscribing to see more videos like this on your feed.